FMU, you're on the air. Hello, oh, Tom. You're back. That's oh. right. Spike is back in the world. It's a much better place. I never thought I'd say this. I am so relieved to hear your voice. Really? Yes. And why is that? Because I missed you last week. Oh, yes, I'm sure everybody missed me last week. I, I, I think they did, but last week was Valentine's Day. Just so people know, this is Spike, uh, a young man, actually not a young man, who uh, who calls the program uh, with with uh, frequency. He is a uh, a, a, a dominatrix. Right? Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. You're a, uh, he, he, he uh, or at least you claim to be a dominatrix. And people can see your uh, advertisements in uh, publications as uh, diverse as uh, Masters Magazine. You mentioned a couple yes. of weeks ago. Yes, that's right. And you also are a fan of of uh, the old time rock and roll. You like the Beatles and Chuck Berry. Yeah, I like the Beatles, Chuck Berry, the Ronettes, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, The Four Seasons. Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. Mm, that's right. So what happens? Somebody goes into your dungeon and it's like, it's like, welcome to my dungeon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, little darling. Bo, bo, bo. She want to hoop, 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 bo, bo. She want to hoop, 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 bo, bo. She want to hoop, 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 Is that what happens in your, uh... Not exactly. You don't have the, uh, doo-wop playing? Well, I have music playing, but usually not rock and roll. Have you ever disciplined any member of the uh, the Dell Vikings? No, there's or, no need to. Or the Orioles? No, there's no need to. None of the teenagers have ever solicited you? No, well, there's only two left. Well, that, that's two, two possible customers. Have yeah, you... but I, I don't discipline people with talent. What are the names of the two remaining teenagers? Do you know? Uh, yeah, Jimmy Merchant is one. Oh, my. Yeah. And Herman Santiago is the other. Oh! It just goes deeper and deeper every week, doesn't it? With you. Oh. We, we learn more each week. Oh, yes. Well, you know, I'm quite learned when it comes to uh, quality music. Yes, quality music and quality film as well, such mm. as the uh, the Chucky series of uh, the yeah, Child's Play Chucky films. series. Jason, Michael, Freddy, and let's not forget I Spit on Your Grave and Last House on the Left. Let's not forget those. Oh, those are classics. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't see um, Giggly as being a classic. Giggly? You mean Gigli, the, uh, the Jennifer Lopez movie? Oh, God, yes. Well, did you ever see the movie Out of Sight? Did you ever see that movie? I, I try not to see anything with Jenny from the bedroom. I have better things to do with my time. Mm -hmm. Exactly, like listen to some rare uh, Orioles B-sides. No, yeah, that's right. You know, stuff like Rex plays. Ba 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 Yes, I listen to him every week. Uh, he does a good show. Yes. He does a good show. And he plays the kind of music that I like. So you don't like any of the music I play? I can tolerate some of the stuff that you play. Such as what? Like, uh, the, well, like the last, the first few songs that you played tonight. You you could tolerate that? Yeah. I mean, admittedly, they were no... Uh, they were not of the quality level of a, uh, a, uh, a uh, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers... Uh, deep cut no not exactly but i can live with it yes that's what life's all about right yeah that's right no I, I don't listen to you know i don't listen to pete dimwit or you know the snoop kitty cats or the jenny from the bedrooms of the world or the what's her name what's the other chick's name the chick from destiny's child oh seance yeah hmm. seance yeah. She's, she's another one i can do without seance seance or whatever her name is all right, Spike. Yeah, the, the, the chick from Destiny's Child. Yeah, yes. So, so who is a contemporary artist that you that you like? Who is somebody that makes music currently that Spike would consider himself to be a fan of? Really, nobody. 
Nobody. There's nobody working today that you consider yourself a fan of. No. No one? No. What about uh, Matis Yahoo? Do you like him? I never heard of him. Ma, he's a uh, Hasidic rapper. Never heard of him. Well, maybe this is an exciting chance for you to learn about Matis Yahoo. I, I'm, I'm sure I will learn about him. He does. He, he does. He does uh, hip hop. It's it's really good. He does hip hop for people who uh, who uh, who who don't like hip hop done by uh, black people. He's I part. See. Well, what what happened to Enema? He's part of the great tradition of the Beastie Boys and Eminem and House of Pain. Pe some people are so desperate for hip hop not done by a, by a, a black guy that they'll be like. Yeah, I'll listen to this hip hop record done by a Hasidic guy. Yeah, there's well, only, there's only eight million. You forgot, uh, well, you forgot somebody. What's that? Who? You forgot, uh, Vanilla Ice. Yeah, you're right. I forgot Vanilla Ice. Not that I was a fan of his, but you know, as long as you were talking about white rappers, you know, mm -hmm. I thought I'd throw him in there. Well, thank you for for reminding me that Vanilla Ice was part of the mix. Mm. So. How about uh, how about uh, 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 MC Steinberg? That's a contemporary rapper. I never heard of MC Steinberg, I, and I like to hear him perform. You've never heard him? Not perform. I've heard him call your show, but okay. I never heard him perform. Maybe he could. Uh, he could. He could. I could uh, uh, hook you up with him, and the two of you could. Uh, you could. You could uh, teach him about doo wop, mm -hmm. and he could teach you about hip hop. Well. What do you think about that? I'm sure that's possible. Now, now, this spike. What? How did you spend your Valentine's Day? Oh, the only way I know how. In peace. What's that? In peace. In peace. Mm-hmm. So you sat I'm in not your. A, I'm not into these, you know, sacrificial, fake uh, holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, more important things I need to worry about. So you were uh, you were at uh, at home in your basement apartment, sitting on the orange crate, right? I don't do orange crates. I don't sit on. I sit on the couch like everybody else. The couch? You didn't buy that couch new, though, did you? Where? What street did you find that couch on? I don't uh, do secondhand. So a lot of things you don't do. One thing you do do is do wop. That's correct. Who is the ultimate do wop artist? Oh, I would say toss between the Flamingos and Dion and the Belmonts. Okay. So, so what what uh, what Flamingos hits are there? Name name some of the great Flamingos songs. Well, I only have eyes for you. Oh, that's a classic. Nobody loves me like I do, like yeah. you do. Mm -hmm. uh, Golden teardrops. You know that I picture you listening to this uh, this uh, doo wop stuff, and it, it kind of adds a definite blue velvet vibe to the music, like all oh. of a sudden. Oh, All which sudden, version of Blue Velvet are we talking? Are we talking about the... Uh, talking about the movie Blue Velvet, oh, not well. the Bobby Vinton song. Well, I'm talking about the way the Bobby Vinton song felt in that movie. You would take those doo-wop songs, and watching you listen to those songs, it just, all of a sudden they are they would be the most sinister songs on earth. Oh, you forget people forget that Bobby Vinton didn't have to hit with it first. Who had the hit with it first? The Clovers did back in 1955. Who? The Clovers. The Clovers. Mm-hmm. Who? Who? who, who, who well, I feel like I'm talking to Don K. Reed here. Or do you not do Don K. Reed? I used to listen to Don K. Reed every week. That was the the doo-wop shop. Yes. Hello, Don. Did you ever call Don K. Reed? Oh, years ago. Hey, it's Don. Request K the song. No, actually, it's in a contest, I believe. It's Don K. Reed here on the uh, doo wop shop every Sunday night on CBS FM. Uh, we got a call coming in here from Spike. Hello. I didn't use. I what? I didn't call myself Spike. I used my uh, another name. Hello, Don. Uh, what can I do for you tonight, Spike? Where's Dambi? No. Uh, what's that? I Where's wasn't Dambi? No, I didn't do that. The few times I called, I requested a song. Mm -hmm. 
What song did you request? Do you remember? No, I called. Well, the few times I called, I requested mm -hmm. different songs. You know, who I like. You know, what doo-wop artist I like is uh, is uh, that guy who uh, who did uh, the uh, the the Brooklyn Bridge. Johnny Maestro. Yeah, Johnny Maestro. Johnny Maestro and the Crest, and then later the Brooklyn Bridge. I like that one song where it's like, "Girl, I heard y'all getting married." Heard y'all getting married. What song is that again? Uh, the worst that can happen. It's the worst that could happen. Have you ever seen Johnny Maestro live? No. Hello, Johnny. I haven't been that fortunate to see any of these quality people live. You haven't seen any of them live? No, unfortunately not. What's going on in the background there, Spike? No. What do I hear there? Hey, somebody <laughs> singing. Oh, that my ra is that your radio? Yeah. Okay. I turned right. it down. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now, will you be pledging, Spike? The WFMU Marathon is coming up. Yes, the, I will be. For the next two weeks. Will you pledge to this program? Yes. Oh, very exciting. You know what you get if you pledge a certain amount of money? What? I, I have a fun pack, uh -huh. which is going to be, uh, it's called the uh, Good Guys uh Win. It's called the Good Guys Win and the Bad Guys Die in 2006 Fun Pack. And you know what you get? You get an autographed photo of me. No, oh, interesting. Yes, and you know what you're not allowed to do? You're not allowed to hang that in your dungeon. Who's that guy? Some guy, somebody getting whipped in your dungeon. Who's that? Oh, that's a radio show I call every Tuesday night. Let me turn. Let me turn up this uh, Crescent record. Nothing there. That's it. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Well, thank you, Spike. Another. Uh, I, I look forward to you pledging. Obviously, thank mm -hmm. you for. Uh, I will thank you in advance for your support. Oh, you're welcome. And and, I can't wait. And uh, give a call next week during the marathon. I want to. You know, how's this sound? What if you work out a. Uh, I'll turn it the mic over to you for I'll turn it the, 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 if you could pitch for me for a minute. Mm -hmm. Just tell people why you like WFMU next week. Okay. Would you well, do that? I, no, if I hopefully if I'm around the call, yes. You'll yeah, you'll be around, don't worry. Hopefully if I'm around, you, you check uh, Spike's desk his like blotter calendar like written like all to Tuesdays says Tom, 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 Tom. Call at 820. Wow. And then the Fridays is like, you know, clean, <laughs> go over the Dell Vikings, uh, the surviving members. Make sure that Eduardo Alvarez is still alive. Uh-huh. What was the name of the f two surviving teenagers? Jimmy Merchant and Herman Santiago. Mm -hmm. Because I, I got some bad news. I just got across the uh, across the AP wire. Jimmy Merchant. Now, I hope you're sitting down. Are you sitting down? Yeah. The Jimmy Merchant just died of embarrassment that you know his name. Really? Yes. Okay, and what time did he die? He died at... Uh, Supposedly. At 8.31. 831. Uh -huh. Yes. He heard you talking about him, and he died of horror. I see. I take it he listens to FMU. He does listen to this show. Oh, does he really? Yes. G I call him Jimmy from the bedroom. Uh, cute. Cute. Turn of phrase, Spike. Turn of phrase. Thank you. I'll talk to you next week, buddy. Uh-huh. Bye. I'm calling him Buddy now. How did that happen? Help me, Mike. How did he become, like, a legitimate high point of my evening? Am I wrong? He's fascinating. I'm completely fascinated by him. I need to know more.